Hello, so I'm currently in a rush, but today is going to be a very busy day. So I have work today at a COVID vaccine clinic. And I'm basically just gonna tell you like what's happening. So I've got a 10 hour day of work today. That's not awful, I've got some breaks and all, so like it's not just full on. I was gonna wear scrubs, but then I was like, what if they think that I'm gonna inject them? Cause I'm not qualified for that. But basically what I'm gonna do is just direct people and be like, hey guys, can we please take off our long sleeves? Um, how are we feeling? Can you please sign here and here? Can you please go here or here? You know, so I'm not, doing anything major but like still helping out you know so today is my first day of half term or halloween break whatever you want to call it and i'm waking up at seven to do work i don't know why what is wrong with me no what's wrong with me this kind of makes me seem responsible but then not at the same time because my movie only starts at eight and it's like two hours long i'm thinking and then my friend's staying over at mine so I'm just going to be shattered like by the end of the day, but we'll deal with that later. I'm going to see the French Dispatch, Timothy Chalamet's in it. I did not know he had that coming out. I knew he had June coming out and I've watched that. I watched that the day it came out. I didn't know he had another movie that came out on the exact same day. Like And like none of my friends did as well. And so now I'm going to see that. Very exciting and fun. I'll show you what I'm having for breakfast because I really like this thing and I'm getting it soon. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm literally just after saying, oh, I'm so excited for this. I know my mum's just gone and burnt it. By the way, I do have a cold. Um, not COVID, but a cold. Because they're going to school like crazy. That is my cat, I'm sorry. My cat was hungry. Beaba. Wow. You're okay. I'm ready. What are you eating? Porridge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh dear, now I've got the hiccups. I'm home and that was honestly like one of the longest days I've had because I was I got there at about 7 45 like I literally only got home at half five so how many hours is that like nine or ten hours of work I am going out to the cinema later on but it's not like a bad task because it's just the cinema I went to Lidl and bought loads of like snacks so I bought a chocolate Santa I got blueberries <laughs> I got some Twix. I kind of got some, like obscure items that you wouldn't normally bring to the cinema because I just think that's fun. And there was also a really good looking boy. Like I genuinely fell in love with him. And there's another clinic like in three weeks and I told him to go to it. It's not like I saw him on the bus and fell in love with him. It's like I spent a whole like 10 hours today with him, ate lunch with him, had a break with him and like talked to him. <laughs> When I say like talk to him, that makes it sound like bad, but like, you know what I mean? Like I was like doing, I was like working with him. So I spent so much time with him. <gasps> Sorry. Sorry guys. See if he ever finds this, not that he'd ever find this, but like see if he did, at least you know how I feel. <laughs> I love him. No, I cannot say that. But I need to get like changed and get ready and fix this darn spot. This guy was like really pervy to me. So I told him to take like his jacket off to like get the vaccine obviously and then he like told me to undress him but like not in a funny manner but like he meant it in a funny manner but like in a creepy way and then he grabbed my wrist and I was kind of scared then I just kind of laughed and was like ah, go in there please and then he left me and it was fine but I was kind of scared of him I'm gonna go get dinner I've already said that before look at my hair I'm gonna go get dinner and then I'll be back but going to the cinema soon and very excited. I've packed my bag. I brought a little tote bag, put my chocolate Santa Twix bars and blueberries at the bottom and then put my blanket on top of it. So if they're like, oh, what's in the bag? I'll be like, oh, just my blanket because I didn't want to get my blanket wet because it's raining. How smart am I? My head's up there and I'm looking a bit grim, but I'll show you the outfit. So cinema, gotta be comfy but I kind of want to add a bit of colour in there, you see? In order to do that, I have my big sleeping hoodie on. I do sleep in this. It does go to like, it's longer than my school skirt. <laughs> I do have my fluffy socks on as well, but we're going to ignore that. But they're kind of flared, but like not really at the same time. I was like going to put something fancier on top, like up here, but then I was like, I kind of want to be comfy. But we're leaving in 15 minutes to go get autumn. And then I probably should tidy my room because my room is a bit of a mess. I have like mugs and stuff, 
which I feel is like really typical for a lot of teenagers' rooms, like just to have some mugs sitting about. I love a mug. <laughs> like, see a lovely shaped mug? Give it to me. I do genuinely love it. But I feel like I shouldn't have that on show, you know? I want to take some photos tonight. No, I don't. I look grim. My spot is taking over my face. I still can't get over the guy. There was a photo that my mum took of us. <laughs> And there's like the sun rising in the background. <laughs> See when like we're old and we're married? That's going to be like on my mantelpiece. <laughs> oh my word, why am I smiling? It was so pretty. <laughs> Thank God nobody knows about my channel. <laughs> why am I like this? Honestly, I need to go and see my therapist. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay, so look at how cute this is. Oh, cute little sad guy. And then the other side. What? Why is it so scary? It really disappoints me. Like, how nice could this have been? The orange and then the yellow, except it's like that. Oh, put some rings on. Oh, getting excited now. What necklace do I have on? Oh. I love this necklace. So let me tell you the story behind it. So Megan Noble got me this. I love One Direction, as you can tell. And so there is a ship and a compass for Louis and Harry. And it's like such a nice like size. Like I hold mine when I'm like nervous because number one, Megan got it for me. Number two, it's Louis and Harry and they bring me home because it's a ship and a compass. And I think it's really cute. And the more that I think about it, it makes me want to cry because I'm just an emotional wreck. Not cry in a bad way, but like, I'm happy. But then I'm like, oh, I love it. Like, oh, just really emotional. I know how to use a compass, do I? No, I don't. I did it in brownies once. And now I'm like, I know how to do everything. Like, you know, we learn how to shave in brownies. Not in, like, to shave our legs or whatever, but we learned how to shave a hairy person's chest. You know, like, defib training. So, defibrillator, when someone's heart stops, you, like, start again with those, like, blah, 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 plates. But, like, if apparently if, like, a guy or a woman had a really hairy chest, once you open the defib, there's a little kit and it has scissors, it has razors, so that you can unhair their chest and then use the defib on them you know that was really good by my brownies teaching me how to use it because i still know how to and i swear if somebody if you have a heart attack in front of me i will still save, save your life like that is what i will do because i know how to and we learned like the song was like nelly the elephant and that's the one that you do this to so i think it was really good like i did learn this about five years ago and probably have forgotten a lot of it but we did try and not that i'd ever be in that situation like what am i catch myself on like me just walking down the street and then see some guy like starting to have a heart attack like that's just not gonna happen but see i say that now and then like in a year i'll be like i saved someone's life <laughs> i'd love to save someone's life i've like save someone's life in the fact of like they're walking along the street and then I go like stop and then they like don't die because they don't get run over by the car by the way I also have like I found my Build-A-Bears and this one has like a heartbeat thing in it okay bye bye <laughs>